With 1.6 billion Muslims in the world today, it's highly likely that you will bump into a friend or colleague that is fasting in this month. And in celebration of our national culture, Nelson Mandela's Rainbow Nation, perhaps we can all learn or find something positive to take away from the lessons that 1.6 billion people are reinforcing within themselves in this month. Financial lessons for the soul and your pocket up next. Hey guys, welcome back to a special episode here on Money Talks with Mina Bil Khan, celebrating the month of Ramadan in the Islamic calendar, a month where Muslims all over the world fast and stay away from food, water and some other things from dawn until sunset, all so that they can benefit spiritually, mentally and physically as human beings. And like everything in life, there's always a purpose, a why for doing something. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can save money in this month, even if you're not fasting. Because after all, this is a month of reflection and spiritual cleansing. And everyone can appreciate a bit of that, especially if it means that you end up with more money in your pocket at the end of the month. So how can we all learn to appreciate someone else's way of life and culture and at the same time, learn to become better with money. Here are four ways. Number one, stick to a budget and have a plan for the month. If you are religiously fasting or you are taking on a challenge with a friend or colleague to try this out, the best part about that regarding money is that you are not eating or drinking in the day, which means you are not spending money on those things. For example, if you spend 50 Rand a day on lunch and a coffee, that's now 50 Rand saved which works out to 350 Rand a week, and that's 1,400 Rand a month. Where else can you save in this month? And for those of you that are watching that are not religiously fasting, why don't you try out the challenge of fasting a full day and see if you can create some extra money in your budget every single month, or there is an alternate option. Has anyone heard of intermittent fasting? Basically skip lunch and breakfast, and let's see how far you get in this challenge. So, number two, don't shop when you are hungry. This is actually proven, guys. Do not shop when you are hungry because you will buy a lot more than you are supposed to buy and you'll probably waste a lot of that anyway. Number three, home-cooked meals are always cheaper. Everyone knows this by now. It is more expensive to go out to eat rather than to eat at home. And if it is really about the friends, then make some time in your calendar and plan for the events rather than going out and spending all that extra money just for the company. Number four, give more and receive more. It's a fact that there is a direct link between charity and wealth. People that give more earn more because giving increases your awareness of money and inspires better money management. Giving increases your happiness, your productivity, and your sense of responsibility. And any person that is happier and more productive and more accountable will earn more money and become wealthier. Giving more and receiving more has been proven over thousands of years to be the key to true happiness. And on that note, if you come across anyone fasting, you're welcome to say Ramadan Kareem or Ramadan Mubarak, which means have a generous or have a blessed Ramadan. Or if you forget those things, then you're welcome to just say Happy Ramadan. And I hope all of you accept this challenge of trying a day of fasting without food or water from sunrise to sunset just to empathize with the millions of people around the world who don't have a choice and don't have access to water and food. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it refreshing from a different perspective with money and let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below as well as if you are going to take on the challenge. Hit the subscribe button and check out the other videos on the channel designed for you to build the right mindsets, habits and education in your journey to financial freedom. I'll catch you guys in the next one.